Okay, welcome back. Um, last lesson we started looking at cumulative frequency uh, and in today's lesson we're going to look at the cumulative frequency graph and doing a box and whisker plot as well. Okay, box and whisker is the way to represent the data, the graph is another way to represent the data as well. So, given a question here, the table shows the weights in kilograms of some cats. Okay, what we need to do, we need to complete the cumulative frequency table, we need to draw the graph, and we're going to draw the box plot from the graph. So first of all, we need a cumulative frequency column. It might not give you it in your less, in your uh, questions. So you need to add it in. Obviously, you're going to add it in a lot neater than this. Okay, and what we're going to do, we add up as we go along. Okay, so between 0 and 1, we have 8 cats. Between 0 and 2, we have these two together. So we have 18. Okay, between 0 and 3, we have... 39, okay, between 0 and 4, we've got 58, 0 and 5, we've got 71, and between 0 and 6, we have 80. Okay, all we're doing, to get the first box, we add the first one, to get the second box, we add the first two, to get the third box, we add the first three, and so on, okay? Now, now we need to plot the graph from that data, okay? So the way that we're going to do it, okay, at zero, there's going to be nothing. So the first one, okay, the first plot you point is always on the lowest possible score, and that's always on zero. Okay, cumulative. So the weight was zero, cumulative frequency was zero. The next one, then, we have, we're going to always plot on the upper boundary. So the highest possible one we can get here is one, the highest we can get is two, the highest we can get is three. You're always going to plot on these values, okay? So we're going to go across one, and we're going to go up eight. So it's about there. Okay? On two, okay, we're going to go across two, and we're going to go up 18. You plot the cumulative frequency. Okay? At three, we're going to have 39. And at four, okay, reading across, we're going to have 58. Okay, 5, 71, and at 6, we're going to have 80. Okay, that last one, you'll go up to your maximum, and you go, you go across to your maximum, and you go up to your maximum. Okay, then what you need to do is you need to join these up with a ruler. Okay, now when you're using a ruler, it should be smooth lines. Okay. Make sure you hit the center of the crosses and you need to make sure that your lines join up. There should be no overlapping sections. Okay, it should look like one smooth line. Okay. So that it looks like that. Okay, that's what it should look like. It's a smooth, it's a straight line. There's no kinks in it. There's no bad things about it. That's perfect. Okay, then what you need to do, okay, we'll ask you potentially to find the median. Now, the median is the middle value, okay? Think back to the basics, median, middle. Okay, so what we're going to do, okay, you find the, me the middle of your cumulative frequency. So it, ours is out of 80 this time. So the middle of 80 Okay, is 40. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to read across so it gets to your line. You're then from there you're going to read down. Okay, down like that. And mine comes out as exactly 3 kilograms. So you'd write median equals 3 kilograms. Okay, once you've done that, okay, it could ask you to find the interquartile range. Now, to find the interquartile range, first of all, we have to find the uh, lower quarter. Now, you find a quarter of 80, or you find a quarter of the maximum that you've got for the cumulative frequency. In this case, it's 80. So what you're going to do, you're going to go across from 20, because 20 is a quarter of 80, and you're going to read down. 
Okay, so mine comes out as two kilograms. So my lower quartile equals two kilograms. Okay, once we find the lower quarter, you need to find the upper quarter. To do that, you're gonna add your lower quarter value onto your median. Okay, so 40 plus 20 is 60. So we need to read across from 60. Okay, read across from 60 until it gets to the line, and then you're gonna read down from there. What you'll get is something like that. So my upper quartile is about, I'd say, 4.2 4 kilograms. Okay, and then to find the lower quartile, uh, sorry, the interquartile range, I'm just going to call it the IQR. Okay, but it means interquartile range. Okay, is your upper quartile minus your lower quartile. So it equals 4.2 minus 2, so it's 2.2 kilograms. If you need to look back at that part, look back, okay? So we found the median, the lower quartile, the upper quartile, and we use the lower quartiles, sorry, the quartiles, to find the interquartile range, okay? The next thing, and the last thing they could ask you to do, is use that information to draw a box and whisker plot, okay? Now, they should give you a line like this, something similar to that. If not, you'll have to draw your own, which means you're taking this bottom section here, okay, and just putting it on a line. You're forgetting the y-axis of the graph, just drawing the x-axis, okay? The first thing you do is you need to draw on the lowest possible value. So looking at the table that we've got there, okay, but what is the lowest possible value? What's the lowest weight we can have? The lowest weight we can have is zero, okay? So that, is going to go on there, okay, so that we get a line like that. You want, the way to find the lowest possible value is this first number that comes in the grid, okay, in the table. Next one then, you need your lower quartile, so you're going to draw a line up from 2, and you're going to get something like that. Lower quartile next. Then we're going to plot the median. So the median goes next. So it looks like that. Upper quartile was 4.4. Sorry, 4.2. And you're going to draw a line down from there. And then the next one you're going to draw is the highest possible value. The highest possible value is the last number that comes in the grid, in the table. Okay, so it goes down like that. You then need to join them up. Okay, so draw a line from there to there. Like that. Join these up at the tops. Join these up at the bottom. Join these up here. Okay, and that's a box and whisker plot. So what we've done, we've added the cumulative frequency column into the table and filled it in. We've used that information in the table to draw the graph. We've used the information in the graph to get the median, lower quartile, upper quartile, interquartile range. And then we've used the information from the table, uh, from the graph, to create a box and whisker plot. Okay.